It's Halloween, Undertoads. Goals are coming to haunt your dreams. Children are coming to steal your fucking candy. And an average rhythm game is coming to your Nintendo 3DS. Uh, well, at least it has ghosts in it. It's Gabrielle's Ghostly Groove 3D. <laughs> Released in October for the 3DS, Gabrielle's Ghostly Groove 3D is from the same people who brought you Harvest Moon. This game was originally planned for the DS, but development shifted to the 3DS once the system was announced. It's a welcome and perfectly decent addition to the 3DS, but the bare bones of it is that Gabrielle's Ghostly Groove 3D never really goes beyond perfectly decent. He plays this little girl named Gabrielle. In the beginning of this story-heavy affair, Gabby literally sneezes so hard that her soul is ejected from her little body. Her mom thinks she's just taking a little nap. Hey mom, she's not sleeping, she's a corpse. So the ghost of Gabrielle sets off with her cat to figure out how to get her soul back inside her body. She finds out she has to do this by frightening people and collecting their screams. And she has to do that, of course, by tapping the screen. I mentioned this game is heavy on story, and that's because for a while, you forget it's a rhythm game. There's so much dialogue, it feels like you're playing some kind of RPG or something. And when you finally get to the gameplay, it lasts about a minute before you're thrown back into a story that no one over the age of pigtails should care about. I get it, alright? The poor kid's a ghost. And poor me assumed I'd actually get to play in this game. You don't have to justify why I'm doing it with these long cutscenes, it's a rhythm game! I guess the point is to give Gabrielle some personality, but that could have been accomplished with a lot less dialogue. And I understand wanting to tie together some cohesive adventure mode, but again, there doesn't have to be nearly this much between the musical numbers. When you get to play, Gabrielle's Ghostly Groove 3D is a lot like Elite Beat Agents. You're tapping and sliding to the rhythm of the music, only Gabby throws in her own little twist. The dots are actually on the top screen, so instead of touching them, you're actually tapping the bottom screen in the same area they're in on the top. This is actually kind of neat because you have to watch the top screen and tap the bottom while estimating where they would be if they were actually there. And I really like that, it does make the game feel a bit unique. My only complaint is that with the slightly more complex gameplay, the required tapping is a lot simpler. The game also has some customization, which further emphasizes the focus on creating a character with a personality. You can unlock lots of items and options for dressing up Gabrielle, whether adjusting her hair color or changing her outfit. And for a game targeted toward young girls, this is a brilliant inclusion. Playing dress up with Gabrielle adds another layer of depth, and although it's a shallow one, it does give the package some added appeal for its intended audience. There are more than 30 musical stages, the game plays alright, based on that, this seems like a solid game, but for some reason, it comes up shorter than the sum of its parts. This game just isn't as great as the games it's inspired by, and although there's some serious cuteness here, Gabrielle's Ghostly Groove 3D feels a bit lifeless.